Hohenwald, Tennessee. Would you think that you would have elephants in Hohenwald, Tennessee? But you do. In her role as Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island, Don Wells was America's sweetheart. Today, with dozens of film, television, and theater credits, she now also devotes herself to more philanthropic pursuits. A strong animal advocate, Dawn is an ambassador for the Elephant Sanctuary in Hohenwald, Tennessee. My friend Lois Knight is one of the people on the board and, and started it, and she came to me and said, this is what we're doing. I'm curious and I love animals, so if there's an adventure that I haven't done, I'm trying. I mean, that's a pretty big adventure to try to find a place in Tennessee to put in elephants. But my friend in, in Nashville said, we're going to find a place where elephants can roam, that it isn't a zoo, you can't go and stand at the fence and give them peanuts. They're free and, and you can observe them, but it isn't a zoo. It's a place for them to roam. The Elephant Sanctuary covers some 2,700 acres and opened in 1995 to care for elephants retired from zoos and circuses. The sanctuary's Elicam allows viewers to watch the elephants via live stream without intruding into their habitat. It'd be like you're peeking and seeing what's going on in a forest. It's beautiful green grass and beautiful trees, but you don't see them all together. They don't line up. You don't stand there and feed them peanuts. You're viewing their privacy, I think. And when I was in Africa, I found it very interesting. They say elephants remember everything. And we were riding someone going through and there'd be a pile of bones. And the elephants would stop and touch every bone. They're relatives, I guess. They have that memory we don't quite understand. And they're so huge. And a gentle giant, I guess, is what you would say. Don may see these majestic beasts as gentle giants. But even at a well-run facility like the Elephant Sanctuary, Accidents can happen, and these seemingly placid animals can be unpredictable. The sanctuary mourned a volunteer killed by an elephant there in 2006. While Dawn loves all animals, it's with elephants that she feels there's space for a special bond between human and animal. Being in Africa and seeing them wander and roam by themselves, and they are such gentle giants. I know I was riding one, and the guide said to me, don't go up to him now. You're going to ride him for a while, but when we stop for lunch, then he will want to touch you. And the, and the elephant with his trunk touched me all over and looked me in the eye. But there was a relationship, and, and you, you, you see the size of that animal. I don't know what emotions they feel, but I think all animals relate to either each other or people or something. I think they're a blessing to this universe. Many of the elephants at the Elephant Sanctuary suffer long-term health and behavioral issues common to elephants that have spent their lives in captivity. Elephants are intelligent and social animals, and they have physical and social needs that cannot be met in captivity. It's simple as that. How far do you go and say, okay, let's buy a zebra. No, let's buy an elephant. Let's buy a cocker spaniel. What is the need from humanity to have to have that? I love to communicate with animals. I do, but, but Respect me, I can live in my house. Respect you, you can live in your jungle. While Don's feelings on keeping elephants as pets are very clear cut, the issue of whether or not wild animals should be kept in zoos for education purposes has her torn. I don't think they should be pets. I think they should be left where they are, where they belong with each other, roam free. I mean, I've climbed the mountains in Rwanda. I've been as close as I am to you with the gorillas. I've watched the mountain gorillas bounce their babies on their knees and rock the babies and burp the babies just like we do. And no fear, because there aren't hunters and you're visiting their sanctuary in the middle of the mountains and don't want to disturb them. It's respect. I think it's respect for any wildlife. You can study it and you can read it, but to have that connection personally, that's rare. So do we put them in a zoo so we can say, I'm experiencing it? No. You're experiencing a little bit of it. You see them, you know, taking the bugs out of the baby's hair and rocking them and all that, but they're still in a cage. It's a conundrum, it really is, because how else would we know? We all can't go sit in the Rwanda mountains and wait till they come by. And yet, they should be free. I don't have an answer. She does, however, recognize the need for sanctuaries to care for exotic animals already in captivity. It's a controversy, I think. I mean, I think they are being taken care of and maybe they would be shot or maybe they would be hunted or maybe they would be starving where they came from. How they got there, I don't know. 
It's like if I, have, if I have a dog, I'd like a backyard where he can roam. I don't want to have a dog sitting on a pillow in my house all the time. When I was doing Gilligan's Island, I had this pet sparrow that fell out of a tree and I couldn't feed the little baby. And I'd bring it, I'd bring it on the set in a shoebox and all the crew would come in with little tweezers and little bugs and they'd feed him a little sparrow all day long. And at one point we let it go. But we nursed it back to health, so to speak. So I think hum, human beings can be an advantage to an animal. We have them in captivity and you see what they're doing. You, you're aware of their needs. But do you take them out of the jungle to do that? Or are they out of the jungle already? I think Hohenwald, they have plenty of space to roam. But how many places can you have to do that? The elephant sanctuary is currently home to 11 elephants. Just give them the place to roam and, and the lack of human contact, I think, and where they should be with each other. I mean, when a new one comes in, they all welcome it. When they've lost one, they all mourn. You're really able to communicate the feelings that they're feeling. And when you're in the middle of the jungle in Africa, you don't know that's going on. You don't see that. They take care of them like they're a pet, but they're not a pet. They're cared for and they're respected. Elephants at the Elephant Sanctuary enjoy large natural habitat enclosures, the companionship of a herd, and the benefits of using modern technology to learn about how best to care for them. To Don, this seems like the perfect solution, educating people about elephants and at the same time, allowing them the freedom to roam. I guess with the new modern way of doing things, the camera is on the elephant itself. And, and you are seeing what the elephant is seeing without being there and bothering them at all. And you're studying that animal and that animal's habitat and how they behave. That's new because of our technology. That's the way to do it, wouldn't you think?